It's Christmas time in Key West and one of the things that makes Christmas so special for me is my personal eggnog recipe. The first part of this recipe is to make an almond milk. I have one cup of almonds and three cups of water and these are going into the blender. Start with the one cup of almonds and they're going into the blender. I'm going to add to that three cups of water and I'm going to blend this on high Now I'm going to pour this into, we have here at the restaurant, we have uh, nut milk bags. If you don't have one of these, you could just use cheesecloth and line a strainer with it and it works just as well. So this is going straight into here. And the reason for doing this is just to get the little, um, the pulp out of it and make it a very smooth and creamy almond milk. And all we're going to do is just squeeze it out now. Traditionally eggnog is full of lots of heavy cream, egg, raw egg yolks and egg whites. This rich almond milk we're making here is going to replace the cream. Okay, so I pretty much squeezed everything I can out of this and all the rich creaminess from the nuts is in here. I'm going to pour this back into the clean blender. And now all we're going to do is add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to start with this half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Moving on to a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And we're going to a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. Here I have half a teaspoon of vanilla. This is a tablespoon of coconut oil. And finally, I have one avocado. The avocado in this recipe is what replaces the egg yolk and gives this, this eggnog its rich creaminess. And finally I'm going to add my sweetness. So instead of uh, traditionally the white sugar, I'm using some maple syrup and I'm also using some palm sugar. So we've got two tablespoons of maple syrup. And that goes. This is the uh, palm sugar. This is a new sweetener we've started using a lot in the restaurant. It comes from the coconut palm. If you don't have anything like this, then you can just add an extra tablespoon of maple syrup or another sweetener of your choice. And that's it. All we're going to do now is put the top on and press blend. Simple as that. Okay, and that should be it. Now we have a nice, rich, creamy eggnog. And let's just top it with a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, let's taste. Mmm. By the way, if you do want to spice it up, don't forget to add the bourbon or the rum. From help yourself to you and your family. Cheers.